hello students welcome back to the video classes today we are going to start with the new chapter known as relation and functions this is the first chapter from the pvc second year syllabus in this chapter we are going to study the introduction of relations and types of relations before i start with the introduction and types of relations let you know about the weightage of this topic in the examination in examination you can find one one mark question in a party section one two mark question one three mark question and one five mark question like this total you can find four questions in the question paper and total weightage of this topic is for 11 marks before i begin with the topic one should know what is set in this type of definitions we have learned in previous year syllabus now set is a collection of well defined objects suppose a is a set containing the elements 1 comma 2 and 1 and 2 are well defined in the collection of this set the collection of this elements are called a set before we study the relations one should know what is the cartesian product of a given set the cartesian product of a given set is denoted by a cross a it is not a normal product is equal to 1 comma 2 is the elements of the first set cross again 1 comma 2 because we are taking the cartesian product on the same set the product of these two is given by is again a set again containing the order pairs every element of the first set is get ordered pair with the second set therefore we can write one comma two this is the first element of the cartesian product sorry one comma one one comma two first elements get ordered pair with the first element of the second set and second element of the second set similarly 2 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 it is a second 2 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 such product is called the cartesian product of a given set now the definition of a relation this definition already we have studied in puc first year syllabus a relation is denoted by the notation capital r from a non-empty set a to another non-empty set b is a subset of the cartesian product of a cross b the relation is always a subset of cartesian product of the given two sets or on a given set the subset is derived by describing a relationship between the first element and the second element of the ordered pairs in A cross B. The second element is called the image of the first element. Dear students, to define a relation, one should know or one should have a set. For example, once again, let me take A is equal to 1, 2. 
and another set B is equal to it is containing 3 therefore A cross B is equal to it is a set again containing the order pairs the element of the cross product or the Cartesian product is are in the form of orders which is given by 1 comma 3 second element is 2 comma 3 now these are the elements of the Cartesian product of the given two sets now define a relation R R is equal to it is a relation it is also a set containing the order pairs like a comma p such that the condition will be given here such that a is greater than b a is greater than b now as i told you in a definition relation is always a subset of the cartesian product of the given two set the relation between the two elements of a given order pairs the first element is greater than the second element in the above Cartesian product we have to select an order pair such that the first element is greater than the second element that is the member of the relation R now in this case A is 1 B is 3 but 1 is not greater than 3 therefore this is not a member of the relation if you look at the second element of a cross b 2 comma 3 a is 2 b is 3 in this also the relation greater is not satisfies the condition 2 is not greater than 3 therefore there is no such element in this relation but r is equal to a set containing no elements denoted by the notation phi such a relation or such a set is called an empty set it is that is empty relation as we know in the set theory, empty set is always a subset of a given set it is. Since A cross B is also an, a set, therefore R is a subset of A cross B. That's why R is a relation on A cross B. Dear students, this is already we have done in the previous year. Just I am giving a simple example to understand what is a relation because this year's syllabus is going to start directly with the types of relation now as i told you the second element is the image of the first element as i told in the relation r suppose we have the order pair a comma b such that a is greater than b then second element of each order pair is called the image of the first element therefore b is the image of a or a is called the pre-image of b this is called the pre-image and b is called the image this element from the domain and b is an element from the codomain now before i start with the types of relation let me introduce you the relation introduction the notion of relations and functions domain codomain and range you have been introduced in class 11th along with different types of specific real valued functions and their graphs the term relation in mathematics has been drawn from the meaning of relation in english language according to which two objects or quantities are related if there is a recognizable connection or a link between the two objects or quantities for example let capital a be the set of students of class 12 of a college and B be the set of students of class 11 of the same college then some of the examples of relations from A to B are capital R is equal to it is a set containing the order pairs A comma B belongs to A cross B such that A is a brother of B now the relation between A and B is a 
family relation a is a brother of b another order pair is a comma b which is belongs to the cartesian product of the two given set such that a is a sister of b sister is a relation between the a and b elements and a comma b belongs to a cross b such that a lives in the same locality as b a and b are living in the same locality means living in a same locality is also one kind of relation between a and b such kind of relations are social relations similarly we are going to study the mathematical relations between the two elements of a given set or the relation if a comma b belongs to capital r we say that a is related to b under the relation capital r and we write as a r b small letter a r b a is r related with the b r means it is a brother of sister of living in the same locality this r is denoted by the notation for the relation between a and b any mathematical relation or a social relation a is greater than b r is nothing but a greater or lesser than b etc in general a comma b is belongs to r now we are going to study types of relations the first type of relation is called an empty relation relation capital r in a set a is called empty relation if no element of a is r related to any element of same set and is denoted by r is equal to empty set and empty set is a subset of a cartesian product of a given set for example as you have seen in the previous video or in the previous slide a is a set containing the elements 1 comma 2 the another set is b containing the elements 3 then the cartesian product of a cross b is equal to we have the elements like order pair 1 comma 3 and second order pair 2 comma 3 then r is related with it is an order pair a comma b such that a greater than b there is no element first element is not greater than second element first element is not greater than the second element therefore such a relation is called as an empty relation and empty relation is always a subset of any cartesian product on a given set this is an example for the greater than a greater than b is an empty relation on a given set second type the relation capital r in a set a is called universal relation if each element of a is r related to every element of a given set that is r is equal to a cross a means universal relation is nothing but a cross a for example the given set a is equal to the elements are 1 comma 2 and another set b is equal to is an element 3 then a cross b is equal to it is a set containing 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 then a cross relation r is equal to it is a set containing a comma b such that b is greater than a second element is greater than the first element therefore r is equals to 3 is greater than 1 therefore 1 comma 3 3 is greater than 2 that is 2 comma 3 now there is no other elements but in this case the relation all the elements of the relations are equal to the cartesian product on a given set therefore such type of relation is called inverse relation 1 3 is there in r also there in a cross b 2 3 is there in a cross b and 2 3 is there in r that is all the elements of a cross b are there in a relation or such a relation is called as an universal relation one note both the relations that is universal relation and empty relations are sometimes called trivial relations for example let a be the set of all the students of the boys school 
and the relation r a is given by r is equal to a comma b such that a is a sister of p is an empty relation you can look at here the given set is a all students of boys school it is there are no girls in the given school only boys are there but the relation between a and b is given that a and b are or a is a sister of b since there are no girls in a school therefore no students of the schools can be no students of the schools can be sister of students of the other school it is hence r is an empty and empty set is a subset of a cross a therefore the such relation is called as empty relation in the previous slide i have shown one empty empty relations example also moving to the some more types of relations these are very important types of relations which will be expected in the examination as one mark question the first relation is called reflexive relation a relation capital r in a set capital a is called reflexive if a comma a is belongs to r for every set a belongs to a means the first element and second element of the given order pair is there must be in the relation r for each given element of the set it is suppose for example a is a set containing 1 comma 2 in a relation there must be an order pair like 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 such order pairs are if there in a relation then such a relation is called as an reflexive relation every member of a there must be an order pair like 1 1 2 2 if suppose there is a 3 then order pair must be there in the relation 3 comma 3 suppose there is a 4 and 4 comma 4 is not there then r is not a relation now moving to the second type known as symmetric relation a relation capital r in a set capital a is called symmetric if a comma b belongs to r then there must be then this implies that there must be an order pair b comma a belongs to r for each member of the given set a comma b if one one is there in the given relation then its reverse order must be there in the same relation such order pair is called a symmetric relation for example Suppose set containing the elements capital A is equal to 1 comma 2 and another set B is equal to it is a set containing 2 comma 3 then the relation R is equals to if I take the order pair like 1 2 and if it is there 2 1 then such relation will be called a symmetric relation if I select one order pair its reverse order pair must be there in the given relation relation means always a subset of the cartesian product of the given set if 1 comma 2 belongs to r then 2 comma 1 must be there in the relation such a relation is called a symmetric relation dear students there is a one typing mistake in this definition is a small word is missing we should write this implies this implies if a comma b belongs to r then this implies b comma a belongs to r such a relation is called a symmetric relation now moving to the third type transitive relation in this case if a comma b belongs to r i am talking about the relation and b comma c belongs to r second order pair starts with b ending with any element b comma c belongs to r then this implies that a should belongs to that is a comma c must be there in the same relation a comma c also belongs to r such type of relation is called as transitive relation if one element is belongs to one order pair is belongs to the relation and second or order pair must be start with the last element of the first order pair 
and ends with any order pair then the conclusion of this order pair should be a comma c belongs to r a comma c belongs to r such type of relation is called a transitive relation dear students these are the important definitions which are expected in the examination for one mark so define reflexive relation define symmetric relation define transitive relation or they may ask what is equivalence relation equivalence relation definition goes like this a relation capital r in a set a is said to be an equivalence relation if r is if r satisfies it is reflexive one relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive if the given relation on a set is all the above three relations such a relation is called as an equivalence relation this is also an important example for one mark definition or in the examination they may ask to define all the three definitions for three marks with this i conclude my today's class in the next class we are going to solve the few examples on the types of relations if you have any queries please contact the given below number or you can whatsapp or email on the given below number thank you stay home stay safe